Hey guys, it's me Falco, welcome back to another video. In today's video, as is a recurring theme, I'm basically getting all the grinding items in the game. And today, I'm basically getting um, the Blinding Light of Destiny. And also, from that, I will be getting Drakaf's armor. Uh, I just need to do one more daily quest, I'm pretty sure. But, um, yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so as you can see, I'm here in Necropolis, and I'll go to recreating the Blinding Light of Destiny. What I did for this, I basically used um, the mace and the bow, as well as the daggers, I think, at one point. But the mace and the bow are a really big help, uh, a really big help, each of them. So you get the bright auras and the chance of a blinding aura from the bow. And then the makes you get all the brilliant auras you need, which you need 75 of. And then the, uh, the daggers, you get loyal orbs, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly. I've also used these quests as well to get spirit orbs. But, um, yeah, I need to do the ultimate weapon kit right now. That's the last thing I need to do. So when I start that, I'll, I'll speed it up. Um... Sorry, I'm just trying to get to the Blinding Light of Destiny quest. So yeah, as you can see, I've got all the stuff here, basically, besides the last ultimate weapon kit. And I'll get the Blinding Light of Destiny thing. And, uh, yeah. So, let's go. Right, so as you can see, I got a bit confused there near the end, trying to find my last item. I had some stuff saved up from earlier as well, so I was like, oh, the, sh uh, the drops aren't showing up. But as you can see, I've done the, uh, the quest for the ultimate kit now. And this will show up here. Also from this quest, when you do it, you get the chance of these as well, which is pretty nice. So like as you see, we got more loyal spirit orbs and the spirit orbs. I'll accept that. And uh, the Blinding Light of Destiny is finally complete, which is nice. Um, not sure what we do with this. Um, I'm guessing we go here. Um, let me just make sure. I'm going to just hold it here for a second and then I'll be back. Okay, okay, I did make sure I did it right. Okay, so I'll turn this in. Uh, there we go. Uh, turn in. It's just going to keep doing this. <laughs> um, I think it should be in the book right now. Also, as you can see, I got the 2012 calendar uh, for another video, uh, which should be fun, hopefully. I'm just going to scroll past all of this. You'll hear a bunch of clicking right now, and I apologize for that. However, uh, it, it's a pain. It's a pain to get past all of this, and it should be here somewhere. There it is. So after you turn in that quest, you get uh, the ability to open this, and you get all these weapons. So you don't need to farm them anymore. I'm gonna buy this, obviously, and yeah, it unlocks a bunch of things, as you guys probably know. Um, so yeah, you, you do this quest, you hand it in, you take the item, you hand the item in through here. Uh, you can get the different axes. Most of these you need like, um, obviously, more spirit orbs, more metals. And then you can unlock Drakaf stuff as well, which should be pretty cool. And yeah, I'll go to my house and I'll be back in a second. Right, so as you can see, I'm in my house. Uh, I do have a higher load battle axe of destiny because I have, you know, 
the Paladin High Lord class. But uh, we also have this. I will hide this ruin for once. Finally have the axe after many years. Obviously when you click on it, it makes everyone in the room say battle on. Uh, it's client side, but I think it looks really nice. Let me just close all this down. I will also zoom in for you guys so you can get a better look at it. And uh, yeah, I think it's really nice. I'm glad I finally done it. Um, it didn't take too long, the farm itself is pretty easy after you get the, uh, the items. It's just basically getting the daily materials. So you get your copper, you get your uh, your silver, you get the mace and the bow. You need to get like 10,500 spirit orbs I think it is at the start. So you can create like um, some loyal spirit orbs and then also create uh, bright auras I think it is. So you can actually forge the, the metals you need. That's the longest part of the farm in my opinion. Uh, besides that it's basically just going into like battle under B and uh, just killing all those mobs over and over again. You can go in a public room or a private room. Personally, I think it's easier for me to just go in a private room and do it with like Necrotic Chronomancer because, y you know, it, it stops people from stealing other kills, stops some lag as well, because there's usually a bunch of people in the battle on the B rooms. And uh, yeah, that's it. I think the next video is basically probably going to be me getting Drakaf's armor, which should be pretty easy as well. But um, yeah, thanks for watching guys. I hope you have a good day, good night, good evening, whatever time it may be for you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.